Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to remove and replace a brake starter motor. And to do this, you need a few basic tools, 3 8 ratchet, extension, and a half inch socket. Now this could be a quarter inch drive, it don't matter, I just like using a 3 8 And you need a 7 16 wrench, a half inch wrench, and a screwdriver or a nut driver. And I'll show you why in a minute. You need a screwdriver or a nut driver to remove the two screws. There's one here and one over here to hold this cover on. Now I'm missing the screws in there. I'll just put this one here to show you where it would be. And this just covers up your gears. Some engines don't have this, but they usually, most of them do. First thing to do is disconnect your wire here, which is where you need the 7 16 wrench. Just take the nut off. The wire comes off. Put the nut back on so you won't lose it. You got one bolt here, another bolt over here, and that's what holds the starter on. Now this one here is easy, that's where you need the socket and the extension. But over here you have to use a wrench all the way because of the, the starter drive mechanism gets in the way and you can't use a uh, socket. Now on some engines, the bolts are Torx drive, so you can use a Torx bit if you want. And you're probably thinking you could use a ratchet wrench over here, but it won't fit. You gotta do it like this by hand. It's usually best to hold your starter here to loosen it up so that it don't drop. Take the bolt all the way out, and there it is. Now there are various types of starter motors. This is the one I took off, and you notice it has a slightly longer housing. And this is off a newer engine. All of these are interchangeable. Now these newer ones like this, they usually come with the metal gear. You gotta make sure you got your right type of gear because the, if your uh, flywheel has aluminum or plastic gear, you have to have a plastic gear. But if it has a steel ring gear, you can run a steel gear on the starter. Now I'm just making a video to show you how you do it. So I'm gonna put this starter motor back on for right now just to show you how to do it. So let's go put it back on. bolt get started by hand you want to tighten them up you don't have to go extremely tight it's easy to strip out aluminum if you're just going to the aluminum block here so they don't get it over tight Now you're ready to hook your starter wire back up. And just goes on here. You might want to get them out of the way. It depends on how your motor's set up. And you definitely don't want to get this too tight. You just this bolt's just anchored in plastic. It's easy to break the bolt off. Well, not the bolt, but it's easy to break the housing. Get it pretty snug like that, and it's ready to go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you got any questions, let me know, and I'll try to help you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next video.